What's going on guys? Kunzer back again on another MLB The Show 19 Domodonsky video. It is Friday. You guys already know the best day of the week for MLB The Show. Huge content update today. We have the fifth inning program. We got new headliners. We got a new roster update. New moments. A new Hall of Fame event featuring signature series cards. We have so much to get into. This just came in. I have no idea what we are looking at in this roster update so far. I am hopefully going to be pleasantly surprised. So let's get right into this one. Cody Ballinger gets a plus two. He gets insane fielding upgrades. Plus four arm, plus 18 fielding, plus 13 reaction. Cody Ballinger is now one of the best courts in the game. 91 overall. That is really cool to see. They were hinting at a very strong uh, defensive upgrade. And man, oh man, they were not kidding. Aaron Judge also gets a nine. This is what we've been waiting for. I, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. A huge defensive update, I hope. Aaron Judge gets a plus one. Very underrated defender, at least in my opinion. Plus seven fielding. Maxed out arm strength. Bryce Harper gains fielding and arm accuracy. He does lose five contact and seven power, so... I think they kind of balanced his fielding out to keep him diamond. That makes sense to me. Shohei Otani gets a plus one over to an 82, plus five and two contact, plus three power versus righties and three vision. Max Kepler gets 12 fielding and 10 arm strength, very much deserved. Hunter Renfro is going to go goal, getting 11 fielding and seven reaction. Thank you guys so much for this. We've been waiting for so damn long for defensive upgrades, and they're finally here. Vasil Garcia gets plus 14 fielding. Jason Hayward gets plus 7 and 10 power, plus 7 contact right, loses 10 contact left and 6 vision, and some defense, so if it wasn't for the defense, he would be gold, but um, they did move his defense down, so Nick Castellanos gets plus 16 fielding and 13 reaction, up to 54 fielding, damn, that must have been pretty horrible before this update, Marquecas loses 6 fielding, Alex Verdugo gets plus 1 on some fielding, this is a lot of upgrades, I'm not going to go through each and every single one of them. Jay Bruce gets a plus two over to a silver Randall. Gritchick goes down. Um, I think that's it for right field. We've gotten so many upgrades so far. Um, Starling Marte gets plus five and 11 power. Finally, much long overdue upgrade for him. He's uh, He was a lot hotter at one point. He's kind of cooled down a little bit, but definitely deserves it in my opinion. Gatel Marte gets plus eight fielding. Lorenzo Kane loses contact, uh, but he does gain fielding, so he stays in 82. Byron Buxton finally gets a big off uh defense upgrade long overdue once again billy hamilton gets better at fielding uh looks like jackie bradley jr gets a plus one to a 76 this is just so much i'm not going to go through every single one of them i hope you guys understand you guys can still see um you know who's getting upgraded however um albert Armora gets a plus one he loses four and 18 contact but plus nine fielding this is what I've really been waiting for for quite some time. Ronald Acuna Jr. gets more fielding, 7 arm strength and 7 arm accuracy. Michael Brantley, 13 fielding, plus 2 and 5 contact. Tommy Pham gets a plus 2. You love to see it, up to an 83 overall, plus 12 fielding, 17 arm strength and 10 arm accuracy. Uh, Eddie Rosario gets a plus 1, 6 fielding and 2 power versus righties. Joey Gallo, oh, you just love to see it, plus 2 and 4 power loses four vision down to 14 i think he gained some earlier but they put it back down uh he does get contact low and up to 90 arm strength really good out uh, really good attribute upgrade for gallo right there in my opinion uh, Juan Soto gets a plus one. All-Star snub, in my opinion, definitely deserves getting an upgrade. Brett, Nor uh, Brett Gardner gets a plus one to a 79. Andrew Benatendi goes down to silver, loses three power per side and five vision. Ryan Braun gets a plus one. Uh, Will Myers gets a minus three down to a 75 overall. That's tough as, you know, former Ray, of course, sucks to see. Former Rookie of the Year, by the way. Uh, Shinsu Chu goes down one, down to 40 fielding. Uh, let's go on a shortstop. Xander Bogart's the first one. Hot, the first diamond that is going to be upgraded. Uh, plus three contact, right? Plus four and seven power. Minus five fielding. So this card is going to be damn near unusable at common defense now at a 58. But he does go diamond, so you guys can cash in. And yeah, a lot of people said story the diamond. 
he has been struggling a little bit. I knew he was not going to go down, but minus 10 power versus lefties, plus 10 fielding low. So that is kind of helpful for him. Turn Turner does go down minus one, down to 58 fielding. Really hurts to see. About damn time, Jorge Polanco gets up to gold. It's been so long. He's really dipped in offensive production lately, but he does deserve gold. Tatis, once again, as I predicted, hopefully you guys cashed in on him. Plus seven and nine contact, plus eight power versus righties. I just noticed Yasso Puig probably didn't go up to gold which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion but whatever Dansby Swanson huge upgrade for him plus eight po uh, contact left plus 10 and nine power does lose some defense Paul the young does go down to silver deserved in my opinion he was an all-star only because the Cardinals had to have one minus four power per side minus seven contact right um we have Freddie Galvis getting a plus one Brandon Crawford goes down to a bronze kind of interesting because he had an eight RBI game the other night that's kind of uh, whatever Ludus Gurriel Jr. gets a pretty big offensive upgrade plus eight and nine power plus three and eight contact um otherwise going on to third base uh, Northern Arenado gets a plus five fielding upgrade, much deserved in my opinion. Uh, otherwise, I think his reaction, I think he's still underrated defensively in this game, however. Alex Bregman gets plus four and seven power, does lose three and seven contact, however. Justin Turner loses uh, considerable defense down to 60, so um, he's now down to an 83. Donaldson starting to get back up, gets a plus one to an 81. Eddie Escobar gets the jump over to gold, 80 overall, plus five contact and power versus lefties um rafael devers gets a plus two to a 78 they were not kidding on stream when they said this was going to be a huge roster update uh devers i think is going to be gold by the end of the year gets a defensive upgrade too which is nice to see unfortunately that does not transfer to his potm card uh yon Moncada gets plus 12 and 11 contact which is cool hunter dozier gets a plus one brian anderson a plus one longoria gets back to silver my man um going over to second base we have altuve another downgrade down to 58 fielding. That is really rough. That's sandpaper, toilet paper rough. DJ the May, who gets a plus one, some fielding upgrades to an 83. Jonathan VR minus two. Robbie Cano on the brink of dropping to bronze. That. <laughs> Oh man, what a turn for the worst. Brandon Lau gets a plus one to a 74. All-star, don't know how he's still a bronze, whatever though. Um, Eric Sogard gets a plus one, uh, plus two to a 73. First base, Rizzo goes down to gold. That I did not expect to see that, but it happened. Minus 11 contact left, minus two power left. Matt Olson a plus two to an 83. Two away from a diamond, plus eight and 13 splits versus lefties. He is a great battle royale card and got even better. Max Muncy gains 23 fielding. Yuli Gurriel gets plus 3, um, plus 6, and 11 splits versus righties. Luke Voigt um, looks like he loses defense but gets uh, some contact versus righties. Uh, Garrett Cooper gets a plus 3 onto catcher. His Manny Grandal gets minus 11 fielding, minus 5 contact left. Does gain 2 power left. Ryu Mito gets uh, some... He loses stats versus righties, gains versus lefties, plus 19 fielding for him. So he's starting to become a much more, much, much well more rounded catcher in this game. Contreras gets upgraded as we did say, plus three and six power, plus uh, seven contact left. Gary Sanchez gets more power. You like to see that. Wilson Ramos goes down, down to 53 fielding right there. Um, for closing pitches, we have Ken Giles getting a plus one. Edwin Diaz does fall down as pretty much every. Everybody under the sun predicted we all knew this was going to happen. Um, they moved down to an 83. Felipe Vasquez gets a plus one to an 83. Taylor Rogers plus two. Jose Alvarado um, goes down to a silver from the Tampa Bay Rays. On to relievers, we have Ryan Presley getting a plus two to an 83. Plus six hit nine. Plus two K9. Plus six walk nine. Minus four home runs per nine. Liam Hendricks does go gold. Very much deserved. He had an absolutely insane month of June. Very deserving in that part. Uh, Matt Barnes goes down to silver tommy canile i probably said that wrong i don't give a damn gets a plus three to a 78 i think he is on gold watch i think he's having a very nice season they clerk gets back up to a 79 um otherwise for starters we have scherzer getting another upgrade down uh to a 92, loses hit 9, which is a little questionable, but he does gain walk 9 and home runs prime up to a uh, 92. Chris Sale, minus 1, minus 2, hit 9, and minus 5 home runs per 9. Garrett Cole gets upgraded. Kershaw goes down. Charlie Morton does go diamond. So um, we said two players were going diamond, and we were absolutely right on the dot with that one. Both Charlie Morton and... Uh, 
Uh, Xander Bogart. So we were completely right on that, which I like to see. Luis Castillo gets a plus one. Shane Justin Bieber gets a plus three to an 82. Really like to see that guy pitch. James Paxton goes down one. Tanaka goes down one. Brandon Woodruff gets a plus two. Lance Lynn gets a plus three to a 78. Yanni Chirinos gets a plus two to a 77. All-star Sonny Gray gets a plus two to a 77. There are just so many upgrades. Jake Arrieta goes down two. Michael Pineda goes silver. Um, Trevor Williams goes down to bronze. CeCe gets a plus one. A lot of stuff happened. This was a very exciting roster update in my opinion. Hopefully you guys saw, I went to cover the, you know, the big ones. I didn't really go over like the guys going up to like 70s or so on just because there's so much happening. Uh, that's the roster update. Just quickly going to highlight this stuff. Uh, we did get two brand new headliners in the game, that of Willie Stargell. Um, you guys can see his stats really quick right here. Not going to go over it too extensively. Nice splits versus righties, 111-115. Very good power hitter. Always has a nice swing. Then also a Benito Santos. 85 102 contact 76 83 power 100 vision very nice defensively and 61 speed and packs are now down to 5,000 studs for these headliners still one of 10 odds at a diamond so that's pretty nice that they did that I definitely think that is appreciated over here to the fifth inning program that of course drops so that is in the game now goes for 28 days a little bit shorter than last time of course the bosses we have 99 Bob Gibson 99 Donaldson and 99 sweet Lou Gehrig um, we have new moments in the game we have a new hall of fame event featuring two signature cards that you guys can get eventually it works the same as the all-star one 94 signature lee smith and 98 signature edgar martinez of course new hall of fame inductees but that is the just the gist of the content update that we did receive today pretty big roster update two brand new diamonds um i think two fell it was anthony rizzo and edwin diaz so very exciting huge stuff that they did glad that they finally looked at defense and some guys it seemed like it's been forever ever since I actually paid that any mind. So congratulations, SDS. Really do appreciate that. Let me know down below in the comment section what was the greatest thing about this content update and your opinion was the roster update, the fifth inning program, the new event, what was the best thing in your opinion. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like to the hope you guys are great today. There comes out. Yay!